Welcome to Unfold Data Science friends. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. In this particular video, I am going to explain you what are the basic differences between a Windows machine and a Linux machine. When I say machine, it is nothing but operating system. What all we will learn in this video? So I am going to explain you what is an operating system guys. Some of you are not from computer science background. So I will explain you a little bit about what is an OS. I will explain you why to learn Linux, why this video, why it is very important to learn Linux. Then I will explain you what are the differences between Windows and Linux and then we will see what is terminal and what is the usability of terminal. Let us start the discussion one by one. So assuming some of you are not from CS background guys, what is an operating system? Let me give you a brief introduction to OS. Okay. So in your computer guys, there are just two things. One is hardware and other is software. Okay. So let us call this hardware and let us call this software. What is hardware and what is software? Something which you can touch is hardware, which you cannot touch is software. For example, your mouse, your screen, your motherboard, your RAM, your memories, your keypads, all these things are hardware because you can touch it. And something which you cannot touch where logics are written is a software operating system is the most important software of your computer so every time you download a movie and store that in one of your drive let's say you store your movie in a movies drive okay when you want to watch that movie you double click on that file at the moment you double click on that file it is this os software which tells to the hardware that hey the user wants to open this file can you open this file? That instruction, that logic comes from this software. Very simple. Every time you want to copy one file from one folder to other folder, OS. Every time you want to delete some file, instruction comes from OS. And it is followed by hardware or your disk. Very simple. Now Windows and Linux are two different types of operating system guys. Okay. Mostly in servers, you will see Linux operating system. Why? Because Linux is considered to be more secured. And that is where this point comes. Why to learn Linux? So today guys, if you are not working in a production environment, you might be thinking why I'm explaining you all this. But tomorrow when you work in a production project, you will understand that most of the projects are hosted in Linux. And if you are not aware of Linux environment, then you might face some difficult time. Okay. That is the reason you must learn Linux and you must know how to work with Linux. Okay. Also, if you are working in some cloud based platforms, let's say GCP or Amazon Web Services or Microsoft Azure, there also you must be aware of, you must be acquainted with some of these Linux skills. It will help you a lot. Okay. Next is how Windows and Linux are different. So example I gave you every time you want to copy a file from Linux from one folder to other folder, what you do in Windows machine guys, you go and do a right click, copy, paste, cut, paste. That is nothing but a graphical user interface. So that when you right click something like this opens, here you select cut, copy and then you paste in the other folder. The same thing if you want to do in a Linux based machine guys, you will need something known as a terminal. Okay. Now what is a terminal? A terminal is nothing but you can think it as one of the interface between you and the computer. Okay. So terminal will look like this. I'm also going to show you the practical examples of how to use this terminal. For now terminal looks like this and whatever you want to do, for example, you want to copy one file from one folder to other that instruction you give to this terminal. This terminal is the interface. Okay. So in Windows machine, what you do? Just a graphical user interface, copy paste. In Linux machine, you will say copy, copy my file. I'm just writing pseudo code guys. This is not the actual code. Copy my file from folder A to folder B. This is the pseudo code that you will go and write where in the terminal. Okay. What is the exact code for this that you will write in the terminal? You just have to go and say cp your file name, let us say a.txt from location to location. I mean the file, the folder path 
that is the exact code this code is called a command in the language of linux this is a command from here to here okay so commands are the core thing that you need to know if you want to work in a linux environment and you must know some of the basic or some of the most used command okay in my next video i will create a list of commands that you must know to work with a linux environment with some examples i have already shown you how to install linux on top of your windows machine the link is here i'll paste in description as well if you have not installed kindly install that guys because all the big data and haroop practice that you will do will be based on linux machine only okay so the basic difference is this terminal guys try to understand this okay all the instruction you will give through this terminal first thing there are some minor differences as well as i told you linux is more secure and hence preferred in servers next is in windows and linux you will see difference of forward slash and backward slash in file path forward slash and backward slash one of these use forward slash one of these use backward slash i can't recollect which one is which and uh, also you will see linux file systems are case sensitive whereas windows file systems are case insensitive and some more differences you will see in terms of if you right click in linux machine you will see different option if you right click in the windows machine you will see different options but the crux is guys we have to understand how to work with with this terminal this terminal will also help you in working with hadoop ecosystem and hadoop environments so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to create a video with common commands and how to work with those commands in linux okay so write me in comment what questions you have guys please share to the video to the people you think it will be useful with and kindly share the video in the data science groups you are part of that will help a lot to share this content with you know needy people i'll see you all in the next video guys till then wherever you are stay safe and take care